What I'm doing here is I'm trying to match this concrete coating on the foam on this section. So what I'm using for this foundation coating is some stuff called Tough 2 Trowel on Coating from Styro Industries. This video is not sponsored by them. So the first step is you've got to wire brush the styrofoam. It's been sitting in the sun and generally it's yellowed. So you can see I've done this part here. And so you just kind of wipe it down and um, also you can get any dirt that's on it just scraped off. And the wire brush actually works pretty well to do this. Um, you don't, you're really not trying to make it like super rough. Um, but you are just trying to get that yellowing oxidation off. Um, it makes a better bond. After you prep your styrofoam, you install what's called Sticky Mesh HD, which is a kind of a fiberglass reinforced mat with an adhesive backing. Um, that sticks right to the styrofoam and you trowel right over that. And I'd imagine it gives the tough coating a little bit of strength and a consistent way to bond. So I've patched my two inch rigid styrofoam here and I have the ICFs down here and I've put on this sticky mesh um, over the whole thing. And that should smooth out any uh, of these bumps. And now I'm gonna trowel on my first coat. So here, my wife is prepping the rest of the foundation and I begin troweling over on the left. Um, it was really kind of hard to trowel and not make a mess with this stuff as it was so loose. Um, I used a six inch knife, a 10 inch knife, a 14 inch trowel. And I just kind of wasn't happy with either one of those tools um, for applying it on the wall and not just getting it all over the place. Um, I eventually decided to switch to a sprayer, which you'll see in the last part of this video. Um, but, you know, she and I both tried troweling it on and trying to not make a mess of it. And it's just really, really not going well. And also, I think we were trying to get a really nice finish out of the gate. And the first coat is really just meant to bond with the styrofoam and the sticky mesh and cover it up just barely. And so... The end result, the first result is not going to be as clean as you would hope. So that was kind of our, our trial there. And we came back on a different day to actually finish the rest of the foundation once I had purchased a spray hopper. And here we're just installing the sticky mesh around the rest of the foundation, which is a fairly easy process, although it is kind of hard to unroll the sticky mesh, so I would suggest mounting it somewhere. So we didn't capture any video of the first coat, um, but here we're cleaning off the first coat in order to put on a second coat, which it definitely recommends in the instructions. It's like 7.30 at night. The sun's finally gone down. You have to apply this stuff not in full sun. Um, and when it's going to be dry for 24 hours and not below 40 degrees. So like there's this like small window of time, right? Um, anyway, I'm gonna mix this stuff up. I've been using a hopper spray gun like so. Um, this works great. Um, what does not work great, and, and this very well could be because I'm not so good with a trowel and a hawk. Um, but putting it on a hawk and then troweling it is really, really a pain because it's kind of sloppy. This thing just lays it on the wall and I can just keep it nice and consistent and then go back over it with a knife, um, a 9 or 10 inch knife, and then it actually comes out pretty nice. So we've got the first coat on the wall now. Um, we did that about a week ago and I've uh, been waiting for a day good enough to actually do the second coat. So we're gonna lay that down now and uh, try and not get eaten alive by bugs. The first thing we did is mix up the previously opened bucket, um, added a little bit of water, which helps it go through the hopper sprayer, and started spraying. And 
Uh, there's a little bit of adjustment with the gun, so you can play around with the settings. And then we basically sprayed it on and then troweled it up. And you can see here, um, I grab a broom with an attempt to texture the finish, which I didn't actually continue around because I didn't really like the outcome. But you can texture it. So what I'm using for this foundation coating is some stuff called Tough 2 Trowel-On Coating from Styro Industries. This video is not sponsored by them. I literally could not find another product on the planet to put on this foundation. <clears throat> and maybe it's because I don't know where to look, but <clears throat> I couldn't find anything else. They have a couple of different products, actually. Um, I went with the tough stuff because you can weed whack against it and it's not going to destroy it. So that's what I'm using. So I'm going to open this and then mix a little water in, and that lets it go through the spray hopper a little easier. So you can mix up to 12 ounces of water in a five gallon bucket um, to make it a little easier to spray, which is what we're doing here. Um, this product does not want to be in contact with moisture for 48 hours after applying, so keep that in mind. And you can backfill after that 48 hours um, but the product is fully cured in 21 days um, you can recoat as well um, any at any time and you can paint it with an acrylic paint um, any color you want um, this is not a moisture barrier this is not a water barrier it is water resistant but it should not be treated as a water barrier, so keep that in mind if you're using it to coat something. This is not intended to be a waterproof layer, right? So you want to make sure you have your own waterproofing separate from this product. And the Tough 2 product, which is what I'm using, requires the sticky mesh. They have another product, which I can't remember the name of, that does not require the sticky mesh, but it also doesn't... I don't think it dries as hard. So you can see here that top 12 inches is kind of lumpy. And that's where I had patched the styrofoam. I'm not super concerned with that because I'm covering it with plywood. Um, I just wanted to cover all of the ICF with the concrete coating. Um, and so that line that you see 12 inches down won't be seen with the, finish, the finished wall. Uh, here I'm cleaning it up with the trowel, really smoothing it out. And that was actually the final coat we did. Um, and here we're coming around the corner doing the second coat on this side. And it is just getting dark. And we're going as fast as we can to see if we can finish before we actually can't see what we're doing. Um, and we did pull it off just barely. Um, it got really dark there towards the end. But uh, overall, a great product. Um, and really happy with the outcome.